नेक्स्ट इज कैल्शियम होम्योस्टेसिस हेयर आर द लिस्ट ऑफ हार्मोन एंड द सोर्स ऑफ सिक्रेशन पैराथायरॉयड फ्रॉम पैराथायरॉयड ग्लैंड कैल्सिटोनिन फ्रॉम पैराफोरिकुलर सेल्स ऑफ थायरॉयड कैल्सिट्राओ दैट इज द एक्टिव फॉर्म ऑफ वाइटामिन डी फ्रॉम द किडनी ओके सो हेयर इज द एक्शन ऑफ इंडिविजुअल हार्मोन पैराथायरॉयड हार्मोन एंड वाइटामिन डी थ्री दैट इज कैल्सिट्रायल और वन ट्वेंटी फाइव डाइड्रॉक्सी कॉली कैल्सिफेल और दैर बोथ एम इज टू इंक्रीज द ब्लड कैल्शियम लेवल and how do they do that that's by increasing absorption of calcium from the kidney from intestine and from the bone parathyroid hormone cannot increase the absorption of calcium from the intestine directly it does with the help of calcitriol and how do they increase resorption of calcium from the bone that's by stimulating osteoclast osteoclast will resorb the calcium and send it to the blood that's how both parathyroid and vitamin d3 increase calcium in the blood calcitonin does the reverse thing they inhibit the osteoclasts and promotes the bone formation that's by stimulating osteoblast and they decrease the blood calcium level okay here are the mcq calcitonin is secreted by parafollicular cells of thyroid gland which of the following is not involved in calcium homeostasis look kidney does the uh, activation of vitamin d that's it converts pro vitamin into active form of vitamin d skin helps in synthesis of vitamin d it converts 7 dehydroxy cholesterol to cholecalciferol that's the step in vitamin d synthesis intestine helps in absorption of calcium We're left with lungs osteoclasts are inhibited by calcitonin because calcitonin promotes the bone formation it stimulates osteoblast and inhibits the osteoclasts hypercalcemia associated with malignancy is most often mediated by this is a research finding that whenever there is malignancy and you have hypercalcemia that's most probably due to parathyroid hormone related peptide this is a research finding patient on low calcium diet for 8 weeks which of the following will increase to maintain the calcium level look parathyroid hormone and both vitamin d increases calcium level in the blood the answer is parathyroid hormone calcitonin cannot increase the calcium level and there is nothing like active 24 25 dihydroxycholecalciferol 24 25 is always inactive the active form is 125 dihydroxycholecalciferol so this cannot be the answer and if serum phosphate level increases along with the parathyroid hormone that will result in bone formation and if you want to form the bone that will snatch away the calcium from the blood so that also cannot increase the calcium level so answer is parathyroid hormone Guys for the next 5 slides we'll be discussing the questions which have been randomly picked up from the endocrine system right So the first one all of the following events are dependent upon glucocorticoids except in this sort of question after knowing the answer that this is not the function which 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 is done by glucocorticoid you should learn the rest 3 which are true right it helps in induction of thymic involution that means it helps in shrinkage of thymus it helps in production of surfactant by type 2 alveolar so that's why if we suspect the delivery is premature we inject dexamethasone to the mother right and also to the function of thyroid somatomedin mediates what does somatomedin do when there is release of growth hormone from the anterior pituitary it stimulates the liver to release somatomedin and this somatomedin goes and helps in formation of cartilage by deposition of chondroitin sulfate once cartilage is formed it will form osteoid and after calcium deposition bone will be formed that's how the diaphysis fuses with the epiphysis okay the rest three are the function of growth hormone not somatomedin per se most common end product of progesterone is pregnenolidiol remember pregnenolidiol in urine okay pregnenolidiol in urine this gives indirectly the concentration of progesterone in your blood okay pregnenolidol in urine and seriously ill patient addition of amino acids in diet result in positive nitrogen balance look you give any sort of nutrition be it glucose amino acid fatty acids and ketones i'm sorry for the spelling that will give a stimuli for beta cells to release insulin now if you give amino acid that will be a positive anabolic effect 
and that will result in new protein synthesis and will result in positive nitrogen balance. Which of the following statement can be regarded as primary action of inhibin? Hmm, I never heard of this. Looks something fishy, right? Here is something fishy. I for inhibin, FSH, okay? Inhibin inhibits the secretion of FSH.